Hello, it is Sarah Waggle, astrologer and leadership coach here for your moon astrology tarot for December 8 through 11. This is the moon in Scorpio. This is a waning moon, meaning it's getting darker um, ahead of the Sagittarius new moon on December 12th. Uh, and so as we move through, we've just had the moon in Libra um, and, you know, we've had a lot of transits lately that are, you know, allowing us to see people's true colors, allowing us to see, you know, maybe some red flags that we've tried to ignore. Um, but now we can't ignore them anymore. And Scorpio, we just had that in intense Scorpio season. Um, and so now as we are in Sagittarius season with Mars and Sagittarius, uh, we really may be like cutting ties or, or cutting, um, uh, severing. That's the word I wanted to use severing. My hair is like not happening today. Um, severing ties with other people, including family members, right? Um, part of the new moon energy is going to be like being leery of self-righteousness or holier than thou type of energy, because we do have, you know, Sagittarius is, is belief systems, um, and religions and philosophies and things like that. And so, with the Scorpio moon intensifying, you know, this, this, uh, fixed water moon intensifying, uh, the energy of Sagittarius season, um, you may really be feeling like, you know, uh, perhaps it's like, uh, how do I want to explain it? Let me explain it like this. Let me say that I feel like it's something around your head of household, or the leader of your family. It doesn't have to be this. Maybe it's your friend group, right? Because a lot of us associate more with our friend groups than our family group. Uh, but maybe it's like your family has always done life this way because of a religion, because of a belief system, because, you know, that's how they were raised. That's how their parents were raised. Uh, and now you are coming in to be like, no, a, it could go a different way. It can go a better way. It doesn't have to be this way. Um, and so we have the 10 of pentacles upright, and this is all about breaking generational, um, or, you know, not, not necessarily breaking generational wounds or traumas, but addressing them, bringing them to light. And, you know, I want to say this just came to me, but I'm hearing a lot more people talking about like their, trauma stories, their abusive relationship stories, and the mental illness that are the mental instability that comes along with that. And I'm loving that we're bringing these things to light. I don't like that these things happened, right? I don't like that, you know, people have had to go through abusive relationships, myself included, but that we're, that we're all, that many of us are opening up to bringing them to light, to talking about them to bringing things to light. And I feel like the Sagittarius season is a lot to do with truths um, and people really, you know, maybe even getting on their high horse about their truth, but, you know, I would say avoid that, but, you know, speaking your truth, talking about your traumas and things like that. But then we have the King of Cloaks in reverse. Of course, this is Tomalak from the Romulans. And this is more of like the, 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 the head of the household, um, not wanting to acknowledge other people's opinions, right? So you could have like an arrogancy going on with that. And so I feel like there could be conflict around this moon as it's waning into this new moon, um, especially it being in Scorpio, especially after we just had that, re that intense Scorpio season. I feel like there could be a lot of things being brought to truth, brought to light, and the leaders of the family or the maybe the elders of the family or the elders of a church or the elders of an organization not liking that the truth is coming to light. So anywho, that's what I have for this moon in Scorpio, December 8th through the 11th. Uh, of course, check the links below for the new moon, sun and rising signs, and how to book and work with me for your basic astrology, your sun, your moon, your rising, and your advanced astrology uh, if you want that. And there's going to be some new stuff coming very soon. And so look forward to seeing you in next videos. Thanks for joining me and I'll talk to you next time.